What do you think about employers dropping the requirement for a four-year degree for jobs in 2024? Now, why is this discussion even up for debate? Because we see it all over TikTok. The reason is, is that the boomers were the last generation that was successively bigger than the previous generation. Each generation since has been smaller, meaning that the number of jobs increases every year and the number of potential employees decreases every year, and those have now passed each other in the market. So, although right now there's a tough job market due to a lot of layoffs and a lot of tech movement as far as tech companies laying people off and then slowly rehiring people as the market changes. There's a lot of jobs out there in 2024 in which people have traditionally had to have a four-year degree to be successful. Now, I don't know about you, but I still want my engineers, my doctors, my nurses, my people that have very technical or health-related jobs to have a four-year degree to make sure that they have the expertise to be able to protect us in our society. But people like me that got a four-year degree in psychology and hasn't done a single thing with that degree, I had to go on and get an advanced degree to be able to get into the kind of career that I wanted to be in, are saying is that really that valuable? Now, of course, the uh, experience of going to college, getting a degree, learning about all kinds of subjects, bettering yourself as a person so that you can level up and proving that you can commit and finish something difficult is really important in our society. And that's been a metric that a lot of employers have looked at as something necessary to be successful. But now four years of for a lot of college students not working during the time that they're going to school, especially in their desired field, versus somebody that has four years of practical, on-the-job, day-to-day work experience is definitely being evaluated and looked at differently in our society in 2024. So I think for a lot of liberal arts degrees and for a lot of degrees that are not necessarily um, specific to the job that you're going to have, meaning that if you get a liberal arts degree, and then you don't do something in teaching or liberal arts, what's the value of that to an employer who wants you to have sales or marketing or customer service experience? So what I would encourage you though, to those that want to go out and do college in 2024 is to make sure that you work during college and that you especially try to work on your summers and your internships in the field that you're going to be working in so that when you go to an employer, you can at least show four summers of practical work experience toward the field that you're in. But for employers right now that are struggling to get the best people into these jobs, I would say for companies, if a four-year degree is not necessary in order to do the job, I would suggest that employers drop that requirement because it's getting in the way of you getting to a lot of good people who chose not to go to college or couldn't go to college and instead were in the workforce getting practical experience and learning how to do the job that you're probably recruiting for right now. So I see both sides of the issue to an extent, but for employers, I tell you to drop the four-year degree requirement unless it's absolutely necessary for the job that the people are in. And for people that are considering, should I just start working or should I go to college? I would tell you to go to college or trade school if it's necessary for the specific job that you're going to get. But if it's not, a lot of times employers now are looking at four years of practical work experience as equal or better to a four-year degree in a non-required field. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be making more videos like this in the employment market in 2024 to help as many people get hired as possible. And we'll see you guys in the next one.